I'm going to go ahead and show you guys today how you can use Google Finance, um, the one of the formulas in Google Sheets, to be able to create a stock tracker, which is a really neat feature. Um, this is this is just one of a couple videos that I'm doing for stock traders, specifically for um, at StockTraderJack.com. So if you want to see more of those, first of all, so you can subscribe to my channel, you can also access them through the website, or do both. Let's just have you do both. So, so I'm going to go call this a stock tracker. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create, let's make a table, so symbol. Let's just say I'm going to create some stocks that I'm trading. Um, these aren't ones I'm actually trading, just ones that we're going to throw in. So Walmart, go Apple, Visa, Lulu. Let's throw in like CHK. Um, let's see, what's another one that just can carve? So these are just a couple of them. I'm going to do the next one over, number of shares. So how many of each one that I bought? Um, let's go purchase date. It's just a couple of things I'd want to know. Purchase price, how much I bought it for. Uh, recent price. Target price, like this is what I want to sell it at, which means it's, it's going to either be a gain or a loss. And invested. And let's see, current value of my investment percent change. So first thing first, I'm going to go, let's just say I bought five shares of Walmart, bought 10 shares of Apple, four shares of Visa, Lulu, let's say five. This one will go 30 and this one will go 20. So purchase price, or purchase date, um, I'm going to go ahead and just say, let's go 1-1-2020. One, one, we'll just say I did that on each one of these. Purchase price. So Walmart, let's see. I'll go ahead and just go, I'll do this on each one. Walmart, and then we'll go Google Finance. This is just so I can look them up. This, uh, we'll go price on that date. Okay, so we'll say I bought it at about 118. Next, let's go Apple, 300. Okay, so that's just the prices I'm going to fill in. Again, this formula was Google Finance. I just have it pointed at a stock price. I want to find the price, so quotation, price, end quotation, comma, and then the date. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and get its recent price by just going like this. Google Finance, Walmart, that's the one I'm pointing it at. I'm going to get just price, but I'm not going to enter in a date this time because I just want to get the latest one. So if you don't add a date, it's just going to give you its latest one. And I can actually drag this down. Voila. Very nice. Now my target price, let's just say I bought it at 118, but I wanted to sell it when it got to about 125. So I'm going to go ahead and just do, let's go this minus this. So that's going to give me my gain loss per share. You guys can set this up however you want. I'm just setting it up this way. All right, so that's how much I gained or lost per share. So we'll say target price. Target price here is 340. Visa, target price of 200. I can look at how much I invested by just going purchase price times the amount of shares. So this is how much money it cost me. Well, not really cost me, but how much money I have invested when I first started it. And then I can also say what is the current value of my portfolio. So I can go recent price, which is what it most recently closed at, times the shares. We'll go money. Perfect. And what's the difference? Uh, instead of going percent change, I'll just go change or delta. We'll go current value minus my initially invested value. So I, let's just say on Apple, I've made $515 from all this, which is really, really cool. Like this is an easy way to look at it. And there's other things I can do. I can go, if I had got charged a commission, let's say of $8, I can take that out and go net this minus this. And then I can sum it right up.
So yeah, I mean, it's a really, really cool sh way to just be able to track your stuff. Now that I have it plugged in, I don't even have to touch this stuff. This is gonna update for me. And if I add anything to my sheet, or if, let's just say I, you know, I'll actually get rid of this. If I want to add more stocks to it, let's say I invest in Ford. Now I can just say I bought 20 shares of Ford. Let's say I bought it at um, $5. Target price 14. Recent price. Oops, I need to actually drag that down. Purchase price was at four dollars. So now this is just going to give me an example of what I want to get. I uh, target. Oh, I need to throw that in there, don't I? So I can go ahead and say gain loss per share. Insert left. Target um, net times my shares. So that'd be $35. So Lulu, I would have a $120 difference per share. So that one's where pretty much my money would be. Yeah, which is awesome. So anyway, this is just a way that I can set up my tracker. And I can actually format this nicely by just going just like this. Okay, and I've got myself like a nice little tracker sheet. It's quick, it's easy, helps me be able to just have my stocks ready and up for watch anytime I log in. I can see how my portfolio is doing. And if you, if you let's say you add some shares, let's say you want to throw in, you know, another 10 shares and you actually average down because you bought during a dip and now your average price is 108, then it'll just update that for you through this tracker. You can do this all in Google Sheets using the Google Finance. It'll just pull it right from the web. So really, really neat. All right. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe and everybody good luck with your trading out there.